Hey everyone, Ben here. There's some major news which you guys need to know and I'm going to reveal to you guys. It's just come across the wire to me and this information is massive. So basically, United Airlines has ordered an electric vertical aircraft and invested into an urban air mobility SPAC. Now the reason this is major news is I previously did some videos a while back and I did say the next technological breakthrough which is going to happen is in the skies and I mentioned one of the market leaders in this industry, Ehang. They're a global leader in these autonomous aerial vehicles or the vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, basically like a human-sized flying drone or even an air taxi. Now, these are major developments, and I think this company could potentially be the US version of Ehang, but we'll see what happens. Let's dive into some details about this company, about this new SPAC, which was announced just a few minutes ago. Now, we're not going to waste any time. Feel free, hit that subscribe button if you haven't joined the family yet, and turn that notification bell on. Give this video an early thumbs up if you like these early updates. So diving back into this headline here, United Airlines orders electric vertical aircraft and invests into urban air mobility SPAC. Archer, which is the name of the company, is raising 1.1 billion through a SPAC merger with Atlas Crest Investment Corp. So that's the name of the SPAC company. The ticker for that, I'll get that up for you guys just in a second. Now, despite this being a concept company, United Airlines has already awarded a billion dollars of orders to this company. Now, that is major news, and I think this is a real game changer for this business. So United has placed a $1 billion order for 200 Archer EVTOL aircrafts, which are the electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, with an option to purchase 100 more for $500 million. This is major news, guys. Now, the EV toll market has exploded in recent years with Deloitte estimating 200 companies worldwide are developing aircraft. Many are for cargo operations and others focus on passenger travel, which is expected to be a $4 billion market by 2025 and $57 billion by 2035, according to Deloitte. Okay, so diving straight into this SPAC here, what is interesting about this right now is all SPACs tend to start at $10 per share, which is equal to the cash in the SPAC unit. This is only at $11.24 as I'm recording this right now. So this could definitely be an opportunity to get in there on this company. Of course, I'm going to dive into the details with this company. It is a pre-revenue company from what I can see so far, a concept company. However, they do have a billion dollars in orders from United Airlines for the future. So to me, that is a major order. So the ticker symbol for this, sorry guys, is ACIC. So we're going to dive into some details about this company. We're building a commercially viable aircraft that can travel 60 miles at 150 miles per hour with no single point of failure. Now, even though great Elon Musk in a past interview stated if he wasn't working on Tesla and SpaceX, he would personally be developing an electric aircraft. So it has got that whole Elon Musk flavor to it. So company overview with headquarters in Palo Alto, California, Archer is creating the world's first electric airline that moves people throughout cities in a quick, safe, sustainable, and cost-effective manner. As the world's only vertically integrated airline company, Archer is designing, manufacturing, and operating a fully electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that can carry four passengers for 60 miles at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour while producing minimal noise. So this is a real game changer, this company, if it can do what it sets out to achieve. $2.7 billion valuation. Now this represents an valuation, $2.7 billion, of 1.2x based on 2026 revenue. So this is looking very far out. This is not looking at 2021, 2022. So that is a risk with this company. Really, they're expecting urban air mobility to be the future. Maybe it'll pay off, maybe it won't, and maybe this company will be the market leader. We'll have to see what happens. But that is the risk with this company. It is a speculative investment, but one which could have an amazing potential. Okay, so the public shareholders who invest into the SPAC will own 13% of the final company. That's just something for you guys to be aware of also. So key investor highlights, designing and developing electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft for use in urban air mobility. Morgan Stanley estimates urban air mobility to be up to a 1.5 to approximately $3 trillion industry by 2040. $1 billion in orders from United Airlines, an option for an additional 500 million aircraft. To me, that's the major news with this company and what separates it from many others in this industry. 
Now, one thing I didn't like about this company compared to eHang is eHang has a proven video. We've seen eHang working. We've seen people using eHang. eHang currently has a partnership with DHL, I believe, at the moment. And this is not something I've seen from this company yet, Archer. However, this company does seem to have um, a lot of potential. Okay, so the benefits of working with United Airlines, apart from the billion dollars in orders, um, they have strategic cooperation around FAA certification airline flight connections, pilot and maintenance crew training. So the cost will be comparable to an Uber X. So $3.30 per mile, 60 miles, 150 mile per hour, 45 decibels, so 100 times quieter than helicopter and zero emission. So these are all benefits of the electric EV toll, which could be the future of technology. Archer's goal is to build the next great US-based aerospace manufacturer. So yeah, I think this could be the US competitor for eHang from what I've seen so far. Option to further diversify into cargo and Department of Defense. So perhaps they're already in talks with the Department of Defense. I'm just speculating here. An example this company brings is Manhattan to JFK Airport Transportation Alternatives. So currently, um, you can take a personal vehicle. This will take you approximately 60 minutes. You can take an UberX. This will take you approximately 70 minutes. You can take an Uber pool. This will take you 77 minutes. You can take a helicopter if you're feeling quite wealthy. Um, cost to operate $1,775. And that takes around 22 minutes to the airport. Or you can take an Archer once they're obviously built. And that just costs just $50 to operate. So less than an Uber pool. And also only takes 22 minutes. So about the same speed as a helicopter. For 365 days per year at $3.30 per seat mile, this company will generate a revenue of $2.4 million per year. So that is massive from just 25 trips a day. So the direct and indirect operating costs will be approximately $1.4 million. This is their estimate with an operating income of $1.1 million. That's on those 25 trips. So this is where the company is today because we do need to put this in perspective. This is a concept company at the moment but I must admit it's one of my favorite at the moment because I do like this urban airspace. I think this is a massive market which will grow in the future. So 2018 to 2020, this company built a world-class team. 2021 to 2024, which is where we are right now, this is the product and go-to-market focus. So they have this billion dollars in orders, um, approved Department of Defense airworthiness certificate. So this is what they aim to do um, these next few years continue to secure future aircraft sales orders, receive type certificate from FAA for Archer conforming aircraft in 2024. Now, this is my theory. Ehang is already operating in China. It's everywhere in China at the moment. So I personally think that the US will not want to be left behind by China in so many areas that are already getting left behind in terms of technology. I think the US will really want their own version of Ehang in the US. And this definitely could potentially be the company, let me just say that, potentially. So mass manufacturing RAM 2024 to 2027 is when they plan to enter the manufacturing stage. And then expected by 2027 to 2030, globally scaled operations all over the world. So this is comparing it to some of its competitors here. I like this because it compares it to eHang, which is a very interesting stock. I think they are the market leader at the moment. So certification, US FAA. Um, that is similar to Jobby Aviation and eHang is registered in China, but they also have a trial permit for Europe. Um, passenger vehicle, so four people in an Archer, only two in an eHang, which is true, but still um, it works and there's real videos of it working. Piloted versus autonomy. So Archer will be piloted, which is different to eHang, which is autonomous. Now, you could say there's positives and negatives for both sides. So the piloted side, I would say you've also got pilot error and you've also got the high cost for hiring a pilot and train a pilot to fly one of these vehicles. Um, so the autonomous side, I would say that's a little bit of an advantage there for eHang. So aircraft design, they aim to have 12 motors and propellers to provide lift for takeoff and landing with high redundancy and high safety with no single point of failure. So yeah, 12 propellers is a lot. If one goes down, if two goes down, if three goes down, I'm sure this thing can still fly. So with just 10 production aircraft in 2024 expected, um, this company would have a revenue of $42 million and then 250 aircraft, a billion dollars in revenue, 500 aircraft, $2.2 billion in revenue. And then by 2030, 2,300 aircraft will bring $12 billion in revenue. So this is a growth, 2,000% um, they're expecting at that point there. 
and then 100% and quite reasonable growth estimates rolling out 60 to 50% per year for this market. Barron, Ron Barron, he was one of the major investors into Tesla and I covered Ron Barron on this video a while back um, when Tesla was like very low on its share price and I covered Ron Barron. So it's a very interesting area and um, I can really imagine a company like Tesla investing into this company also. So yeah, it looks very interesting, guys. The risk with this company, the major risk is, of course, the long period of delay before these aircrafts are actually produced and actually mobile in the world. Crashes, if this company has one crash when they're testing, let's say over a residential area, then that could also be major news for the company and not very good for the stock. So they are the major risks. This company's pre-revenue at the moment. But on the positive side, a billion dollars in orders from United Airlines. So it's very, very interesting. My advice would be to check the share price and try and get in there at a good buy point if you're interested in this company. For me personally, if I did invest as soon as the market opens, then it would be a long term hold as it's a high risk, very speculative play. And I wouldn't get in there if the share price had ran up too much. But that's just my personal opinion. This is not financial advice. If you guys found value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. Feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. If you do want to know exactly which stocks I'm buying, which stocks I'm selling, including access to my entire investment portfolio, I'm getting live updates as soon as I spot fantastic investing opportunities and fantastic new SPACs in the market, then check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. With that being said, I hope you guys have a tremendous day and I'll see you all in my next video. Invest safe.